All right, the project at hand right now is dealing with my electric service. So this water has been flowing out of this conduit for over six, it's been like that the whole time. All of a sudden someone complained and didn't like it. And you know, most people are saying it's fine, but you know, my one buddy at the, from the power company is like, oh, we should probably fix that anyway. So the power company was here last night digging and I think their plan is to just break the elbow so water isn't can't go up. But I'm gonna go back to the next highest pull box because that's where the water's coming from. It's flowing down the conduit from that pull box. So if I can drain out that pull box. There's the cable and that's, I mean, that's dry. All right, well, you can see the water in there. Is that water? dug quite adequately here because here's you know there's the water level down there and there's the pipe I don't even want to touch this wire there's the pipe where the water was entering so we're a good four inches under that got to hammer that out okay here we are back down at the pole and you can see the water flow has stopped
All right, so the water in the trench is actually a good thing because you can tell what's going on. So, you know, we're draining out. Here's the stuff I haven't touched. That's going downhill pretty hard right there. This is also kind of the overflow out of that pond where that comes through here as well. So that should be sculpted in kind of right here. I think I hammered that plenty. I mean, now the trench is, uh, you know, we're completely dry over here. You can see we're running down way lower.
Okay, this is filter fabric. It keeps dirt from messing up our drainage gravel. Alright, here we are a week or so later. It's been snowing and raining and snow's been melting, so... And here's my pipe coming out. Let me move that, actually. So yeah, actually plenty of water coming out of that pipe. What do the lab inspectors think about the water? looking here you know there's water running through this but it's well below the height of the conduit where it's going into and here's down at the pole you can see that's completely dry now and uh, the utility company they were trying to dig that up to um, I guess I should fill this back in to break the elbow but there was too much water coming into the conduit for that to just absorb into the ground but I think what you should do when you do these is drill some holes because there's probably some water sitting in that conduit but you know it's not flowing anymore so it should be all right all right there's no more water running up that conduit so this looks good all right, let's uh, go work on something else. <laughs> 